In other words, the white student is being taught systematically how to be a white supremacist. Mm -hmm. The non-white student is being taught how to be a victim. So you have an mm -hmm. opposite right mm -hmm. there in the, same, in the same classroom at the same time. And the result is going to be that. Why? Because of the words that are used right in the classroom itself, mm. the terms, and the intent. Uh, this can be dismantled mm -hmm. by changing the words, changing the way language is used, changing the way that things are glorified or not glorified. It cannot be offset by anything called Afrocentricism. Okay. But by truth. Yeah. I, I've yes. often heard you say that sometimes uh, to get to truth, if, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it sometimes entails uh, embarrassing black people and offending white people. It's no way to talk about the system of white supremacy or racism in general without, as it stands now, mm -hmm. without embarrassing black people and without offending white people. It's just no way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but that goes with the territory of trying to solve the problem. Why would black people feel embarrassed? Because oh. most people who like to feel that they have self-esteem and power, etc., mm -hmm. are embarrassed when they find out that their self-esteem is very low, that they are really not very proud of themselves, that they really haven't accomplished anything that they can really point to that matters uh, within the body politic of the system of white supremacy. So, therefore, it causes a person to become embarrassed. A person becomes embarrassed when they sit in a classroom and they listen to the word dark being used. Mm -hmm. That's a non-white person. And just the way the word black or dark is being used in almost every setting Even context. in the dictionary? The yes. The way you look at the word uh, black. You, the student sits there and the student, look, student listens to words like dark ages. Mm -hmm. And you will say the person has a dark past. And you will hear that word being used repeatedly. Dark, dark, dark. Mm -hmm. Within the context of something that is very demeaning, something that is very undesirable to anyone who has any sense of decency about them. So about the 8th or ninth grade, particularly black male students, simply do not want to hear any more of it. And so they become rebellious and disruptive. They turn off. And this is just one word, dark. But then when you include in that the glorification of events that have happened all down through history yes. that were supportive of the system of white supremacy, then the non-white person loses self-esteem, loses the will to want to do anything within that class. Now, if we're talking about mathematics or biology, zoology, there are not so many problems in those particular classes if you have the support of the sociolo sociological classes, okay. the, the classes that deal with interactions between people. But when you don't have that support, the rest of it falls apart mm -hmm. where the non-white student is involved. Hmm. Most interesting. For people who are interested in... Uh contacting you or purchasing a copy of your book, uh, how can we do that? Uh, in the area, uh, Washington, Maryland area, you can get it at uh, bookstores such as Pyramid, okay. the North Star Connection uh, in the Maryland area, and also Kariba Books mm -hmm. in the shopping centers, also Yawa Books, okay. and uh, certain other books that primarily feature uh, what we call black literature. Mm. There's so many things that we could touch on, on in, in the code book. Uh, but what is it that specifically that you uh, hope to achieve you know, with a book such as this? I hope to achieve, uh, first of all, being aware of racism, what it is, and how it works. And then to make prescriptions as to what an individual can do and mm -hmm. say on a daily basis in all nine areas of activity so that they can counter what is already in place with the ultimate objective, not of establishing another form of racism or another form of mistreatment of people, mm -hmm. but with the, the objective, ultimately, of producing peace. And you can only do that through revealing truth 
and then use in truth in such manner as to produce a product called justice and correctness. Correctness means balance between people and things, creatures, etc. And that's that's the way we get to it because, like you said before, there's a lot of people who we harbor a lot of pain and a lot of animosity for a lot of reasons. And sometimes people harbor these things against other people don't even know why. They don't know that it has taken place. That's true. The system of racism, any system of mistreatment of people, first of all, has to be designed so that you have automatic animosity toward another person. Okay. And so that person goes into a category where when you look at that person, you'll say, I am supposed to have animosity toward that person. Mr. Fuller, thank you for coming and sharing with us here today on Color Me Poetry. We're going to have you back uh, very soon. Is there a phone number, address, P.O. box where people can get in touch with you, maybe write you, or have you come and speak? Uh, yes, uh, you can contact me through uh, uh, my phone number, which is 202-484-5461. Thank you, sir, for coming and sharing with us. White supremacy. As long as white supremacy is alive and well, a white man's heaven is a black man's hell. Many look, but few see. The, un the most unjust dynamic in the world is white supremacy. I'm Danny Queen. This is Color Me Poetry. Until next time, color me poetry. Thank you.